What's going on everybody? This is Cody, the home theater hobbyist. I just got back from a trip to Phoenix, Arizona. And while I was there, I stopped by LMC Home Entertainment, a local AV retailer. And I have to say, if you are in the Phoenix area, or if you're traveling like I was, you should definitely stop by one of their showrooms. They have two, one in Scottsdale, Arizona, and the other in Tempe. Both are great showrooms. The uh, Scottsdale store is their flagship store, but the Tempe store has a theater in it so you can watch your favorite content on the Sonos Fobbers like I did while I was there and just hear a lot of great music in one of their two channel listening rooms. So they have a bunch to offer there. Now in this video, I sit down and I talk to Paul, one of the sales representatives from the Tempe store. And he kind of tells us all about their different brands and sort of their sales philosophy and why they chose those brands. So you should definitely watch this entire video so you can see what they have to offer. They've got Wilson Audio, they've got Magnapan, they've got Sonos Faber, they've got uh, Trinoff, they've got Macintosh, they have a bunch of really nice gear. Lynn Audio, they just have a lot of really nice gear, a lot to really offer. So watch the entire video so you can see all the different things that I saw, including the Wilson Audio Whams, uh, which are their most high end speaker from Wilson Audio. They're like $800,000. I sat down, I listened to those, they sound great. They also had the Subsonics, the subwoofer from Wilson Audio paired with those those things are over five feet tall and massive i think it has three 12 inch drivers in it i mean these things are massive and they can really produce bass that was really cool they also have amplifiers that are literally the size of subwoofers they're monoblocks they're huge and i tried to show you those and so there's just a lot to see in this video so let's go ahead watch the interview watch it in its entirety because they have a lot to offer What's going on everybody? This is Cody, the Home Theater Hobbyist, and today I am in Tempe, Arizona at Legendary Music and Cinema, also known as LMC. This is one of their showrooms here in Tempe. I'm actually in this beautiful Sonos Faber Macintosh room, and they've got a lot of gear in here, uh, just so that you can experience if you come in and sit down. But I've got Paul here. He is actually one of the sales people here at the stores and um, just wanted to kind of give you guys a feel for LMC. Um, if you are in the Phoenix area, you definitely should check them out because they have a lot of really cool gear here in Tempe and I believe they also have a Scottsdale location. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Paul, tell me a little bit about your store, what you sell and what's going on there. Well, we've been in business for about 25 years mm -hmm. with our two locations. We specialize or or our business concept is that we sell European and American gear. Mm -hmm. uh, brands such as Macintosh, Wilson Audio, Sonus Faber, Audio Research, Burmester, mm -hmm. Martin Logan, um, MBL, mm -hmm. Diane D'Agostino, mm -hmm. uh, others. Yeah, yeah. But those are kind of the highlights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you guys have a ton of gear here. Uh, like I said, we're sitting in this room and I can count just looking around. What is that? Four, six, eight Sonus Faber speakers a lot of Macintosh gear, you mm -hmm. know, so basically if somebody wants to come in and listen to the gear, this is the place to go. That's why we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know we talked and you said that you guys are one of the premier uh, dealers for uh, Wilson Audio. So you guys have their entire range as far as I know. Exactly. We do. Between our two stores, in fact, we are the, um, we, we have the award uh, for the last several years running of being the number one U.S. dealer. Mm -hmm. uh, in actuality, we're the biggest Wilson dealer in the world between our wow. two stores. Wow. Uh, Wilson Audio is a fabulous brand of, mm -hmm. of speakers, highly respected, mm -hmm. highly sought after all around the world. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, what's the, what's the range that people can expect between, you know, their uh, lowest and their highest end speakers? Well, they, they build some stand mount speakers mm -hmm. um, for around ten thousand dollars a pair okay. and they're surprising mm -hmm. we have their f entire line of floor standing speakers the sabrina x is their basic floor stander okay uh, we have that uh, in the store it's about nineteen thousand and change for a, for a pair you could get different finishes and mm -hmm. some other options mm -hmm. uh, we also carry their sabrinas their um, Sasha DAW is one of their most popular speakers. Their Alexia V's, their newest speaker. Mm -hmm. Those are all here in my store here mm -hmm. in Tempe. Mm -hmm. uh, in Scottsdale, they carry those models, plus they go all the way to the top, which okay. includes the uh, Wham Master Chronosonic. Uh, as Wham. far as I know, we have the only set in display, other than at uh, Dave Wilson's house. Um, oh, wow. Okay. In uh, the U.S. 
Okay. Okay. So what makes Wilson Audio so special and why did you guys choose to uh, be to partner with him to be a dealer? Well, their speakers, they have a very serious uh, approach mm -hmm. to designing and building speakers. Mm -hmm. They use materials that are difficult to work with, but they produce the performance that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. their, um, one of their signature technologies is uh, splitting their speakers ever more into individual cabinets for every driver. Mm -hmm. Their most basic speaker is a three-way single cabinet speaker, but by the time you get to the WAMs, uh, you're talking about a, a, a speaker that has, I believe, six individual cabinets for the drivers, and every cabinet can be individually aimed, time-aligned, um, the angle, uh, the distance from the listener to the uh, to the speaker can be adjusted, mm -hmm. and um, it's the way you get the uh, precision and, and amazing um, realism that Wilson is is famous for. Okay, okay, so that top end speaker sounds, uh, uh, let's just say, a little bit more difficult to set up if you're time aligning, you're setting the angles, mm -hmm. all that thing for each one of the cabinets. Um, and I have two questions. First of all, do you guys come and set these up for people or how does that work? That's practically required okay. Um, okay. by Wilson. When yep. you're buying speakers at this level, you're entitled to have them functioning the way they're supposed to function. Okay. Uh, my installers are extremely experienced when it comes to setting them up and placing mm -hmm. them in the room and getting every, every ounce of performance out of them. So, okay. so you definitely want us to be able to set them up. Okay, so I saw the, I think it's the Alexia V, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that looked pretty difficult, and that was, what, three different three small Three individual cabinets, cabinets. Right, mm -hmm. um, but you said they go up to eight? Um, I believe the, the WAM, <laughs> I, I need to get up to Scottsdale more often, um, I believe it's six individual six, cabinets. Six, and I, my thought on that design and philosophy personally is they probably go with individual cabinets, so that way you reduce resonance uh, transferring between the speakers and influencing any of the sound. That's my sort of thought on that. Is that that's so, one of the reasons? That's one of the reasons. Uh, definitely, that's an important um, aspect of it. But every speaker can can be focused, both mm -hmm. in terms of um, aiming it side to side, up up and down, moving it forward and backwards to perfectly align it with the other speakers in your particular room for your particular um, listening position. Okay, so it's um, they sound great everywhere, but in the sweet spot, it's it's truly amazing mm -hmm. what kind of sound you can expect. Okay, okay, so it's it's basically allows for a lot more flexibility in how you set them up and how you align them specifically mm -hmm. for the sweet spot. Okay, okay, and with that particular brand, I think they have a center channel as well, right? They do several. Yeah, they have center channels, they have stand mounts, and I think they even have some subwoofers. They have subwoofers. Generally, they're passive. Mm -hmm meaning that you have to add a, a crossover and, a, and an outboard amplifier. Mm -hmm. And, do uh, and their here. subs can be quite large. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, the physics <laughs> say that a subwoofer should be large. Right. People don't want large subwoofers, so subwoofer companies have found ways to make them smaller and smaller mm -hmm. with a few trade-offs. But Wilson doesn't trade anything off, so they build the subwoofers the correct way, mm -hmm. the, the way the math tells tells us they should be built. <laughs> okay. And it is amazing to hear bass when it's being produced by a subwoofer that is designed correctly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, you can do a home theater setup with the Wilson Audio. Absolutely. Speakers, if you We've want. We've done some thrilling theaters really? with, with Wilson speakers. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So if you're watching this and you're like, you know, I really like Wilson Audio, can I do you know, a theater setup? It sounds like you can, and this is definitely the place to go. Uh, tell me a little bit about Sonos Fobber. Since we're seeing well, Sonos Faber is uh, made in northern Italy. Mm -hmm. um, all of their speakers, all of their products, mm -hmm. they build speakers ranging from less than $1,000 a pair all the way up to about a quarter of a million dollars a pair. Mm -hmm. The lessons that they learn by building expensive speakers like that trickle down into all of their products. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so they're all um, tremendously good sounding speakers. And their design and, and craftsmanship is is second to none. Um, they're probably the prettiest speakers that you can can buy. They really are. I <laughs> I'm sitting here in this room and uh, actually before you know we sat down to uh, to do this interview or just this just little talk we have here, I was taking some pictures in this room and these cabinets they're just they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, they are just 
gorgeous. <laughs> they build their yeah. speakers out of out of real wood. In mm -hmm. fact, for for many many years, their speakers were all made of hardwood, and they still make several models mm -hmm. from solid hardwood, which is almost unheard of in in this day and age. It's very difficult and and labor intense to do speakers that way. Mm -hmm. But even the speakers that are not solid hardwood are are made of wooden ply, which is how better wooden speakers are made yeah. um, these days. No, no MDF mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> in their uh, speakers here. And then the finishes are, are, are wonderful. They upholster the speakers in real leathers. They, they have um, wonderful metal work. Mm -hmm. um, so just to look at them, they're, they're like pieces of sculpture that sit in your room. Yeah. Uh, they also make extremely beautiful music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. They do. And honestly, this is, this is one of those brands that I kind of assume has a pretty high spousal acceptance factor because they look so good. Like, you know, most people, you know, when it comes down to having speakers in a room, they're like, ah, oh, they, they, they're not going to look good in my room, you know, because, you know, some designs are speakers. They look mm -hmm. like speakers. Um, but these, these very, are very popular amongst everybody in the yeah, yeah. These the are house. things that you can put in yeah. your house and your spouse is like, yeah, those can sit in mm -hmm. the house now. Mind you, you're going to spend for, you know, some of that. But at the same time, if you want a nice pair of speakers, mm -hmm. um, they definitely have that going for them. So I definitely would recommend if you haven't seen Sonos Fibers, you know, stop by and definitely do that because these are some gorgeous, I mean, gorgeous speakers and they do sound really, really good. Um, so as far as powering your different speakers and stuff like that, tell me a little bit about Macintosh and some of the different amplifiers and preamps that you have. Our electronics lines, we're, we, we start where most dealers finish up. Um, mm -hmm. Macintosh is kind of where we start. Mm -hmm. They make wonderful amps and preamps. They're, they're a legend in the audio business for, mm -hmm. for these products. They also make turntables and CD players and, and a full range of products. We, we sell and show um, virtually everything they they make. Mm -hmm. We even um, stock quite a bit of it here in the store. So mm -hmm. as difficult as, as um, availability has been the last few years, yeah. uh, a lot of times you can come in here and we actually have what you're looking for. The, um, the typical Macintosh unit um, is probably solid state, but they also make a number of excellent tube products. Mm -hmm. um, my most popular or, or my recommended combination is to use a, a tube preamplifier with a solid state power amplifier. Mm -hmm. um, Why is that? Well, tubes have a lot of um, advantages in terms of performance. Mm -hmm. They add a spaciousness and a, and a sort of a palpable realism when they're done correctly mm -hmm. um, that solid state has a hard time duplicating. Mm -hmm. uh, solid state amplifiers, on the other hand, control bass and control speakers um, uh, more more precisely mm -hmm, than mm -hmm. tube amplifiers can uh, with a good with a careful combination we also sell excellent tube amplifiers and if that's the sound a person wants to have um, we can do a wonderful job with that we sell a number of um, brands that do tube amps including audio research which is a tube specialist company mm -hmm. that's all they build is tube equipment okay. but um, when you have um, solid state amplifiers, you're you're able to have much much more power. Mm -hmm. We have solid state and mono blocks that are 1,200 watts or more. Um, difficult to do that with a tube amplifier. Mm -hmm. Though we do have an audio research tube amplifier that's about uh, I think it's about 650 watts per channel. That's a lot of power in in the tube world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we also sell some excellent European brands. Um, Burmester is one of our most popular electronics brands mm -hmm. um, for, for amplifiers, preamplifiers, that kind of thing. They're absolutely wonderful sounding units and they're okay. built like audio jewelry. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're also a large Lin dealer. Uh, Lin builds some of the, uh, the best sources that you can buy, mm -hmm. both digital and analog, which is interesting. They, they were, um, they're just having their 50th anniversary celebration as a company in Glasgow, that's Glasgow, Scotland is where okay. they're based. Okay. And um, they also, uh, uh, well, they were founded building the original Lynn Sondek turntable, which is a okay. legendary turntable. They still build it 50 years after it was originally um, designed. But they also are famous for building the best, uh, some of the best digital sources that you can 
purchase. Their streamers are, are fantastic and and uh, we're the biggest Lynn dealer in the country, mainly on the strength of selling their um, their source units. Wow. But they also make amps, they also make speakers and, and other products and we sell everything that they make. Okay. Um, um, and then one other brand I'd like to mention would be um, Diagostino. Uh, very exotic, very um, almost whimsical um, brand in terms of the way it looks. Um, mm -hmm. Designed by Dan Diagostino, who was made famous by um, being Krell's um, lead designer. Okay. He now has his own company and it's actually based right here in Arizona, which oh. is a interesting thing in Cave Creek. Mm -hmm. uh, their equipment is extremely exotic, extremely expensive, and sounds fantastic. And it also has a has a very unique um, look. We we like to think of it almost as a steampunk kind of uh, look that appeals to a lot of people. Okay. Okay. And so people can come and um, see that and experience it here mm -hmm. whenever you're sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, so. Real quick, I actually want to step back to Macintosh for a second because I think a lot of people have heard that they're coming out with a new AV receiver. Will you guys have that? We will. Okay. We already have them on order. Mm -hmm. I think we may have already sold the ones that are on order, so we'll try to get some more. Okay. Um, it's been some years since Macintosh built an AV receiver. Mm -hmm. They um, insist on doing things a certain way, and, and it's difficult to get the kind of power and sound quality that that they expect mm -hmm. from a single device. Mm -hmm. But with the um, advent of newer technologies, they, they feel that they have an extremely good product that we're very excited about. Mm -hmm. um, it will offer uh, a lot more power than a typical receiver can, mm -hmm. um, can provide. It also has Dirac Live um, room correction, which is a much more sophisticated room um, room correction system than you typically find in most receivers, although there are some other brands that also use Dirac Live. Right, right. And um, it's going to be a great product. It's it's uh, less than $10,000, mm -hmm. which for a Macintosh uh, home theater is actually very, very reasonable. We have mm -hmm. all kinds of uh, different speaker combinations that will be great with it. Okay. We should have it on display, I would, I would think, in uh, approximately a month. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that'll be cool. So about a month from when we're recording this. So it'll be maybe the end of April uh, here, 2023. You may be mm -hmm. able to listen to it from there on. So mm -hmm. you definitely stop by. Um, go ahead. I was just going to say, assuming that we actually have one that we could <laughs> put in the store uh, that, that isn't already claimed by a customer. Customers mm -hmm. come first. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. So definitely come by, stop by, see that. Now, let's talk for a minute because we've got these listening rooms here. And so, you know, here we've got a two channel setup with a turntable and a few different source devices mm -hmm. and different things like that. So you can listen to turntables, you can do two channel, uh, you've got a headphone rack out there so you can listen to some mm -hmm. headphones as well. Uh, what about home theater? What do you guys have for home theater here? Well, because of the brands that we carry, um, we're not doing the typical family room um, mm -hmm. home theater system, although with this new receiver from uh, Macintosh, we may start to do some more of those. Okay. We typically do... Um, dedicated rooms mm -hmm. uh, where the appearance and the acoustics in the room are are important right along with the uh, quality of the equipment and speakers mm -hmm. that we're using. We can put it all together. We can design the rooms. Mm -hmm. um, I actually have a background in that. And I've, over the years, I've, I've done dozens of, of theater rooms. We have wonderful products that are terrific for multi-channel theaters. Mm -hmm. We sell Trinov processors, which are in the in the AV processor world, that's the gold standard. You can mm -hmm. do almost any number of channels with those. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. can configure them to do whatever speaker combination you need. You feel you need to do. If you need 20 subwoofers and 20 Atmos speakers, okay, we just get a 60-channel uh, processor and, and make sure that we um, dedicate the, the number of channels to subs and Atmos speakers that, that we want to do. Um, Plus, you can remap the location electronically. If you can't put a speaker in exactly the right um, location for, for best performance, you can, you can electronically have the effect of moving the speaker somewhat so that it is now performing um, the way it is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we use a lot of Macintosh in theaters. Their amplifiers are fantastic for that, mm -hmm. although we have done uh, Burmester and, and other brands in theaters as well. 
And in terms of speakers for theaters, Sonus Faber makes excellent um, theater speakers. In fact, they just introduced an entirely new line of higher end speakers that we're going to be putting on display. Okay. And we do Wisdom. Um, and Wisdom, arguably the best built in speakers in the world. They're okay. made right here in Nevada. Mm -hmm. And um, they, um, for a, a full on dedicated theater for movies and sports, not necessarily for, for music, um, a Wisdom theater is an absolutely thrilling experience. Really? So what makes Wisdom so so good in your opinion? They use a different kind of speaker. They use planar magnetic drivers in their speakers. Mm -hmm. They also use, um, for the most part, they, they recommend line array speakers, which, because of their nature, they're ideal for theaters. Mm -hmm. And um, when you put the combination of, of line array and planar magnetic together, it, it really produces dynamics, um, almost forceful dynamics and consistent sound throughout the theater that are really hard to achieve with with other speakers. Okay. They also make fully active speakers. And when you think that a theater may have, let's say, 17 channels of speakers or more, mm -hmm. and then every one of those channels, if it's fully active, has several amplifiers driving that speaker plus active crossovers for every uh, for every speaker, that becomes a pretty sophisticated, yeah. pretty powerful, <laughs> pretty expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, that's that. Mm, mm, that could be the dream, you know. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> you know, the dream. I, I I I hesitate with that because it's just thinking about the cost of it. But I mean, if well, you, if you want to go all out, you know. You know, our clients. I've I have theaters uh, or clients with theaters in, in excess of a million dollars. Mm -hmm. um, you wouldn't have to spend that much to do a wisdom theater, but it would not be difficult to use all wisdom speakers and amps in a in a million dollar th theater. That would be completely appropriate. Okay. Okay. I, I I'm not in that particular ballpark. Just going to be honest. But I maybe one day if you guys <laughs> subscribe a ton and you know <laughs> do all of that, you know. Share the videos, but but that honest that sounds really cool. That sounds really cool. All active speakers, you know, with their own crossovers and just you know, because then you know you have the right, the power is there to do what the speaker can mm -hmm. do with headroom, um, because that's honestly that's what amplification is about. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you have enough headroom to actually be dynamic when there are dynamic parts of the yep. movie, big explosions. But you know, at the same time, be able to play those small small things. And when you have somebody that pairs everything together, I mean, I mean that's that's kind of yeah that's. Well, we sell lots of great products, <laughs> uh -huh. and we can, depending on what a person wants to do, we can recommend different approaches, mm -hmm. whether it's Wilson or Wisdom or Sonos Faber or, you know, all of the brands that we carry. We, we feel like we carry the very best products to do every job that a, that a person might want to have in, a, in an audio or audio video system. Okay, okay. And as far as the video part of it is concerned, you guys... Do projectors, mm -hmm. screens? Mm -hmm. Do you guys do televisions? Or? We do. It's a. It's not a huge part of our business. Mm -hmm. um, when we do TVs, we typically do Sony, but we have mm -hmm. access to other things. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of Sony projectors. Mm -hmm. um, are they the absolute best? Well, I'm not going to get into an argument there, but their yeah. their native 4K laser projectors are truly excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent picture quality, and they're supported by a large company. So, mm -hmm. if there are problems, you can get them dealt with and um, and we found uh, that they really are a, a good choice in most situations okay. we do screens everywhere from 100 inches occasionally up to 200 250 inches depending on the size of the theater somebody wants to do yeah. uh, so that's a sizable theater yeah it's a sizable theater. yeah my dream theater is probably like 200 inches, but I need a new house for that. So uh, that's totally a dream at this point. Um, but okay, okay. So basically, you guys have your customers covered, right? Um, and we try to offer everything in house. You know, if you have pictures of our our um, dedicated theater here in the mm -hmm. store, mm -hmm. we designed it. We had 
had it all built ourselves. We supplied the carpeting, we supplied the furniture, we had the woodwork built to our designs mm -hmm. um, locally and, and put together. So I think it's important to, to keep as much of that in-house as possible because that way all the little pieces, theaters are, are complex devices and changing one thing can have an effect on lots of other things. So mm -hmm. we want to be the ones in charge of, of virtually everything so that we can make sure it gets it comes together properly. Okay. okay. And even when we're doing sound systems, we want every little detail to be just so. So mm -hmm. that's why we include free installation and setup and placement with with every um, two-channel system that we sell. It's certainly not as complex as doing a theater, but mm -hmm. music is such a demanding um, medium. Little tiny changes, moving a speaker up quarter of an inch. I, I've heard situations where moving a speaker just a little forward or or towing it in just a little less or mm -hmm. you know, something like that um, makes a tremendously audible difference. So we take the time and we have the training and, and, and we put in the effort to make sure custo our customers are getting everything that they paid for. Yeah, yeah. And that's worth it. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, people... Um, if you're watching this video, if you're watching channels like this in general, you care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you, you care. That's why you're. you're that's why you're watching, mm -hmm. right? And you know, not everybody. Everybody has a different budget, but at the same time, you want to maximize the things mm -hmm. that you can't afford. All of their customers probably can't afford the million dollar home theater, right? But at the same time, they can afford what they can afford. I can afford what I can afford. And we want to get the most out of it. And I think they that's deserve, LMC's. They deserve the same attention as, right. as the million dollar people. Right. right. And um, if you love what you, I mean, this is a passion. Mm -hmm. If we do it right, mm -hmm. we eke out every little bit of performance from, from a person's system, they stay engaged. Uh, this is meant to be an emotional thing. Yeah. And yeah. when we have engaged customers, we have customers that frankly keep, Coming, Call, back. coming back in, calling, mm -hmm. what do you think about this? What if I did this? Would that be better? Mm -hmm. So it's uh, good for them. It's good for us yeah. to stay engaged with people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you have anything else you want to say or tell us about your store? Because um, I don't want to take up too much of time because you do have customers you got to get back to. Well, actually, I think we've covered quite a bit. Um, we we keep our brands fairly, um, fairly exclusive. Mm -hmm. um, we probably don't have as many lines as some stores, but we've picked the ones that we have very carefully out of a wide range of, of products that are available to us. Mm -hmm. And we really support them. We mm -hmm. really believe in them. Um, they can do some really amaz amazing and magical things mm -hmm. when you put the right products together. Okay. And that's what we're always looking for is that magic that kind of goes beyond just, just what it says on paper right. about them. Right, right. And again, like you said, this is, you know, you spend a lot of time thinking, all of us spend a lot of time thinking about our setups, our speakers, our televisions, you know, everything that we have, because you're really there for the experience, right? You're really mm -hmm. there for, you know, listening to your favorite song and hearing those details that you, you just can't hear when you're, you know, on the bus or on the subway or, you know, in your car because there's too much ambient noise, but you can come in your home, you can sit down quietly and listen and hear mm -hmm. all those little fine details. Or you're watching a movie and you are completely engrossed. The room is dark and it's just, it's next level, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that's, 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 what, that's what it's all about. So thank one you, of, Paul. One of the things I really love is when I sell a customer a new amp or a mm -hmm. new pair of speakers and then they call me up and said, oh, I've been going through all my favorite music and, yeah. and I've, I've heard things I've never heard before. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what makes me feel like I did my job. That's that's what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, Im it, you know, all of a sudden it images correctly, not like it was just a little bit, you know, like all those just little fine details yeah. just mean a lot. Sometimes it's amazing that, that that little sound has been there all along and we never had the gear to hear it before, mm -hmm. but now we do. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's where we try to go. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, let's just be honest, like sometimes you, up, you upgrade your gear and you realize that what you thought was a great recording probably wasn't as good as could have done a little bit better job. A mixing engineer pulled something just a little left when it should have been just a little more center or something yeah. like that. So you know, it, just finding those little things um, is just it's so fun. It's so fun just to spend some time. But I do recommend that you guys, uh, if you are in Arizona, you know, in the Phoenix area, 
traveling, whatever, stop by one of the showrooms here in Tempe or in Scottsdale and check out what they have because they have a lot here. I mean, you can see we've got the Macintosh rack right behind us. We've got the Sonos Faber. They're beautiful. Okay. <laughs> They're beautiful. And then you've got Wilson Audio just, you know, knocking that out of the park with, you know, six, to, you know, a cabinet for each one of their speakers and stuff like that. So, uh, so it's really cool. So again, thank you, Paul. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. And, thank you for coming and talking to me yeah yeah this has been fun so like we said stop by lmc audio look them up you can google them they're around uh here in scott's or here in tempe and scottsdale thank you guys for watching i'll talk to you next time